I actually prefer filming where I sit on the floor than I do standing up. I think I might have found my new filming place. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. How to safely throw away self-harm tools. I know you're probably thinking, Lydia, how, how can you safely stop, like, not have tools? Tools are a clear safety net. My advice is genuinely, don't throw everything you use away at one time. This is for people who want to start their recovery. Make sure you keep something while you're going through the process of removing your tools. Say you're cutting, and I'm using that as an example because that's what I used to do. I, I know myself harmed any other way. First one week you get rid of one tool the next week you get rid of another tool the next week you get rid of another tool and so on and so on until you reach your last tool and then you give up you get rid of your last tool the reason you do it like that is because it's a safety net you don't want to lose your safety net and then panic and use something you don't know how to use and do something go wrong Recovering from self-harm is really hard because self-harm is an addiction. Okay, it's not something you can just give up overnight. I'm currently one year, six months free from self-harm. That doesn't mean I don't think about it at times. I just don't have anything to do it with because I'm, I'm not allowed scissors, I'm not allowed nail scissors. <laughs> I'm not allowed... What else am I not allowed? They took my kettle off me. Like, I'm not allowed anything that could be dangerous, <laughs> but that's beside the point. The reason you do it slowly with your tools is because you don't want to rip off your safety blanket straight away. And before you know it, your, your, your safety blanket is gone. And this is where self-harm recovery really kicks in, because your safety net is gone. So how can you safely get rid of the tools? I personally flushed my blades down the toilet. Because one, you can't re-get them once it's gone. Number two, I'm not putting my hand in the toilet to retrieve that blade. Another method you can use is wrap it up in a duct tape ball and throw it into the bin. Now you can't go and throw something off a bridge, say, for example, because carrying a, a bladed article is a criminal offence. And as someone who's nearly been arrested for possession of a defensive weapon, don't do it. Do not take your tools outside of your property. If you feel comfortable, you could ask your parents to get rid of the tools. Or you could ask a friend if you feel comfortable, if they could get rid of it for you. It's about being safe when you're getting rid of tools. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family, turn notifications on and give me a thumbs up because it helps me out. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. I'll link that in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.